In this video, I'll show you how to fix Windows 11 not detecting a second monitor. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do if Windows 11 isn't detecting your monitor is just make sure that it's properly plugged in. The next thing you need to do is just, even if it is plugged in, just unplug it and replug it as well, as it's worth doing that. And if you've got any other ports, which you could also go and plug it in on your computer, then that's worth trying as well. But what's really important is, is that if you're using a, or you've got a graphics card installed in your computer, make sure you're using that. Here's the back of my PC and hopefully yours looks something like mine. At the top here, we've got our motherboard and then at the bottom, we've got our graphics card. So if you've got a graphics card, then make sure both your monitors are plugged into it. If you've got a graphics card and a motherboard, you can't go and sort of have one plugged into a motherboard and one, one plugged into a graphics card. They both need to be plugged into the same place. And often if you've got a graphics card installed in your computer, like I have here, then your motherboard output may be disabled anyway, so you won't be able to use them. So essentially, if you've got a graphics card, then make sure they're both plugged into it. And if you don't have a graphics card, then just make sure they're both plugged into your motherboard. Another thing you should check if you just recently got your monitor, and that is that the monitor is actually switched on. There may be a power button and that you need to go and press turn it on. And also make sure you've got the right source selected on your monitor as well, because if it's got multiple inputs, then it may be trying to detect an input for a different source that it's got. So yeah, basically just use the controls on your monitor and to see if you can go and switch the source and just make sure it's actually turned on as well. The next thing you can try is actually in Windows. So what we need to do is just right click anywhere on your desktop, like so somewhere blank, and then we're gonna get some options here. And all you want to do is go and tap on display settings like this. Then as you can see, I've got my two monitors here, but what you should do is scroll down and go and expand the multiple display section and then go and tap on it, detect on the right hand side where it says detect other display, click there and then hopefully Windows will go and detect your display if it hasn't already. And also it may be worth scrolling to the top and just tapping on identify to go and see if a number appears on your monitor and yeah, see if that there's anything there. The next thing we need to do is go and open up your device manager. So to do that, all you need to do is come to the bottom of Windows and go and right click on the Windows start button like so, and then go and tap on device manager. You can also just go and search for the device manager as well. Then once you're in your device manager, I'm just gonna go and zoom in up for you guys. What you need to do is go and locate uh, display adapters just here and go and expand it by clicking on that arrow. As you can see, here is my uh, display adapter. I've got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics card. Now, what we need to do is make sure you've got the driver for your display adapter or your graphics card. It's the same thing, really. So as you can see, I can now go and see the name here. If you want to see some more inf information about it, then all you need to do is right click on it and then go and press on properties and then you can go and tap on driver. So you could try updating the driver from here, but personally, I prefer to go and just go and search on Google for the driver. So because I've got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660, I then go and type that in here. So I've now gone and typed that in. So I'm going to go and search for it and make sure you go to the official website you may have a NVIDIA graphics card or maybe an AMD one. And as you can see, we've then got the official GeForce drivers from NVIDIA.com. As I say, make sure you use the official website. Then what we can do is actually go and do this manual driver search or we can go and do this automatic driver update as well. I've now gone and entered my driver information here. So I'm now gonna go and tap on start search and hopefully it's gonna go and find the relevant driver for me. As you can see, this is the one I would then need. So I'd go and download it and then install it and hopefully that will go and fix the problem. And there we go guys, I hope one of these methods did help you. If it did, please consider leaving a like, peace.